So here we're going to show you how to create a Wi-Fi enabled Blackmagic GDB probe from an ESP8266. So here we have the quick start page on the Visual Micro website. And this gives you a, a downloadable binary which you can just flash onto your ESP8266. And this is just with the default settings from the project available on GitHub. So if you download that TPC and extract it to a location with no spaces in the name and then if you've got the ESP8266 toolchain installed already then you can just run the upload to ESP8266 script and this will check if it's found the packages and tools at the top and error if it can't find them you should see this COM port prompt so if you connect your ESP8266 via your serial adapter as normal and hold GPIO 0 low and reset it and then type in your COM port here so mine's on COM10 then press enter and this will just run the upload for the image provided and the reason we've provided this image is just to save you having to build the image using IDF yourself just to try it out so there we go that's now finished so our ESP8266 can be reset and we can move on with the guide. So you can connect to it at this point as shown in the guide just to check everything's working. Now we need to go and upload our target image. So we need to set our options and add a local board.txt with the detail specified on the website. So if we go and ensure that we've got our debug set to hardware and set to the Blackmagic probe for now until there's an added menu option available. And then we'll need to make sure we've got our optimization, optimization set as needed for what we're debugging. And we just need to build and upload our code to our board after we've selected the right port. So that's just finishing the upload now. And there we go. So our target's now got its code on with the debugging information. And if we plug that into our ESP8266, we'll be able to debug as normal. So the connections are the same as if you're connecting a Blackmagic probe, um, and the actual pins on the ESP8266 are, are shown on our page. And as you can see, all the functionality for GDB is the same as normal. And there are a number of extra features in that firmware for updating the firmware over OTA as well as a web interface so do check out the, the github page for the ESP8266 firmware for this so there's, a, there's a lot more available than what we're showing you here and if you do wish to change the Wi-Fi network that the probe connects to or enable further features you will actually need to perform your own build of the ESP8266 firmware which involves downloading and installing the IDF build environment and the RTOS SDK. So we've just worked our way through the quick start guide. And as we've just said, you can go through the building the 8266 image yourself as well as we did. And this will take you through how to actually update the firmware for the probe. So there you go, a Wi-Fi GDB probe.